Hello, everyone. Welcome to the channel, The Great Awakening Generator. I'm Rose McNair, and I am in Auckland, New Zealand. My guests today are Sophia Cohen and Harold Bird. Now, they come from this wonderful organization called Starseeds Wisdom. So, welcome, ladies, and how are you today? Good, thank you. Oh, good. Carol, you good? Thank you. <laughs> good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. So We're I... Uh, a lot of uh, crystalline energy. Oh, good. Through. We are having a lot of crystalline energies coming through. Yes. So all, we are all going through that crazy ride. Love it. I love it. And yeah. you know what? I love that you're saying that because um, it's also the crystalline uh, energies coming through as really improving the, uh, the ascension process and escalating it, I feel. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. We are all going through upgrades and yes. a lot going on around the head area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's actually quite an appropriate time for the three of us to be speaking. And I know that we didn't discuss going into this, but I want to just say this. I understand with the astrology being the way it is, it is an amazing time to start new projects to set up new organizations, especially with things that are improving the learning capabilities with children. And um, I heard that from Pam Gregory, the astrologer, and she was talking about how the planets are aligned at the moment. So I think what we're going to talk about today is so appropriate for this time and space, right? So yeah. ladies, I, you know, Starseed's wisdom, I was very impressed when I had a notion of what it was all about, but I'm not going to tell our audience about that. You are going to tell them about that because I understand, obviously, this is your project and you you have you have brought it into uh, creation, so you will know the everything about it, right? So before we get to what Starseed's wisdom is all about, I'd love for you to tell me about yourselves. Sophia, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, well... Um I'm originally from the UK. I've been in New Zealand for just over 20 years. Um, I have a little six-year-old, which um, has, you know, kind of put me onto this journey, I suppose. And um, I guess I've kind of been on my more spiritual journey for the last maybe 10 or 12 years and just, you know, learning different things at different times when those things are needed and finding the right you know, people to help me in those times as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, kind of all put me to where, what we're doing now. Yes, yes. And so, Carol, how do you come about this? Uh, yes, I've been trying to, um, like, started my journey in teaching um, yoga classes and meditation to children about 10, 12 years ago. Um so that was the time when I understand, you know, um, the needs of the future uh, generations that's going to come with all of them having uh, different abilities and um, having a different vibration from our generation. And I felt that we are here to pave the way, uh, pave the way for them to actually come in. And so my own daughter, it's um, part of the great, catalyst um to put me on this journey um and so it's through the um yogic science and the yoga discipline i started this journey and now i come into like energy healing and i've been teaching children um you know about energy and chakra system and doing their own protection and feeling energy that sort of thing in the past um two years right yeah and carol has been on my channel before so if anybody has watched that um video and it, it got a lot of uh, attention that video and uh, so you'd know more about carol's work but in this instance it's about how you've done you're doing things to um support your your daughter and i think as parents this is a very important uh stance we have to take given the times we live in right absolutely yeah yeah <laughs> all right so I guess we're going to go into what is Starseed's wisdom. So, can you tell us what is Starseed's wisdom? 
Well, we're basically creating a platform where we've got out of the box learning for children. So things that we're creating classes and courses. So rather than just having a one-off class, it might be a four week course so that they're learning new things every week and just creating something that's a little bit different than anywhere else that, you know, you might learn these things. Like for us, we might have found these things when we were in our twenties or our thirties or even forties, but being able to bring these things to the kids when they're, uh, when they're younger and actually, you know, they grow up knowing these things uh, is that's what we're trying to create. Okay, explain things some more, please. Things. Yes. (laughs) So, you know, like what Carol does, energy healing and teaching kids about auras and their soul colors and crystals. My my little guy is like crystal mad and he's been crystal mad ever since he was a child, like since he was tiny. Um, And, yeah, so crystals, astrology, just like you were talking about now, you know, like – if our kids have their astrology mapped out from when they're younger and they understand it, like imagine what a difference that would make in our lives now if we knew at what time we should be concentrating on certain things and this year's my money year and next year's my love year, you know, yes. and actually teaching them that from a young age. Yes, so, yes, indeed. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a four-week program, course. What? What Am I saying the right words? Yeah, so there'll be different there'll be different classes. They'll they'll start at different times depending on the mentor that we have, and but generally there'll be a, a four week course. Yeah, so one hour every week. Okay, so it's not intense, no. and it's more like a it's something they do as part of um, well uh, part of the uh, the progression of. Uh, their knowledge in terms of intuition and it's giving them the information sooner rather than when we got it because I got it more like in my 40s rather than in, yeah. you know, 20s. Um, so, and, and a lot of the times I did think, I wish someone had told me sooner. I wish yeah. that yeah. that would be the case. Um, so, Carol, is, do you want to add something to this? Um, no, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's like uh, we we sort of been on a similar journey of how we actually come together now to do this. It's it's because we all went through similar path of like wanting to know ourselves a bit more and wanting to know about our connection with the universe, with mm-hmm. what's going on around uh, in, on a deeper level, and uh, because our kids are you know, the one who's driving us to go on this, this path. So, um, yeah, we do all hope that we knew all of these, um, for example, like uh, knowledge, ancient knowledge and ancient wisdom or, um, you know, um, about, you know, the um, the cosmology um, of how, you know, we are actually from the stars, you know, that sort of thing that links up with who we are right now. And that's also help us to connect with the coming of you know a galactic age that um the kids are going to um live on and be authentic self um and so we kind of like the bridge between uh the old world and this what we call the new world yes. um but it's not really new it happened before <laughs> that's right we're yes. actually coming back to do this again yes yeah yes. so um yeah so that it's been really interesting we we have you know we don't have all the answers we're still trying to thread this path it was not easy and it's been really tough on sophia as well um and but we all have the um kind of passion in us that we feel that this is the right time we have to do this regardless yes. of you know the um the climate around um you know the atmosphere um the chaotic atmosphere um uh, the collapse of all systems you know it's yes, all happening yes. at the same time That's and right. on a personal level and on the you know exterior level and we um trying to do this at the moment feeling that it's the calling that we are actually stepping up in doing yeah yeah i think i think it's you know uh, from what you're saying it is, he would have thought, well, I, I think this, 
you know, universe, could you have just helped us to do this in a different time and in a space where it was not so much <laughs> else happening and systems falling down and we're trying to figure out and navigate. And I guess maybe because of the, the rigidity of the old system and so much ingrained and embedded um, into, you know, indoctrination and, and all of that, this, those barriers were already put up. And so this is what we're having to go through. But it's correct and okay for the time and space we're living in. Um, and as much as I know there are challenges, I do believe that um, this is the right time for a lot of things. And I'm saying that in my, I'm thinking about it in my, in, inside me and I'm thinking oh, rather begrudgingly I say that because, you know, I also have had to come to the realization that even though I have a plan of how it should go, um, you know, uh, it's just going to happen now because that's how it's got to be when, you know, and, and we're going to come out shining in all of this, despite all of the, you know, the, the mishmash going on. Now, Please remind us, now that you've told us what Starseed's wisdom is, remind us where or tell us where we can uh, find out more information at this point, because if anybody wants to look at it, they can, you know, in the meantime, start uh, rolling that over in the mind. So tell us, please. Yeah, so all of our information is on our website, which is Starseed's wisdom. So Starseed's with an S, wisdom.com. Okay, great. The other thing I want, I was wondering is, so uh, are we at this point okay to talk about physically where the children would go to to um, to get the to get this information from you? Um, you know, is is that already available? You're going to tell me where to go later on, uh, I guess. But I guess what I'm thinking about is when we're giving an email a, a web address that we should be saying, okay, it's going to happen in this part of Auckland or etc. Yeah, so what we're the classes will be online to okay. start with, um, just because we want to be able to cater to everyone in New Zealand, and yes. we've got tutors that are all around New Zealand as well that are a part of this. Um, so they'll be online to start with, um, and then hopefully once we can create like our little hubs in each area, then we can start doing some more in person, and okay. you know rather than doing them online. Okay, I like yeah. that. I like that because it's just quite easy. It's versatile. And the timing of the, cl the class, one hour is not, is, is appropriate and, and if, um, effective in terms of attention span and all of that for, yeah. for children, right? Uh, yeah. For adults too, not just children. <laughs> yeah, and, the you know, the parents, uh, obviously, you know, I'd be sitting in on my son's class if he was having one. So, you know, the parents are going to get a lot out of what their children are learning as well. Yes. Yes, I see that. Yeah. Um, now, and I've been hearing children a lot in this from both of you. And so, therefore, my next question would be, um, how um, – how did this happen? What inspired it? I'm here. I know children is the is a key word, but go on. You 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 tell me. Yeah, I mean, it was a couple of years ago when you know everything was going a little crazy in the world, and um, I took my son out of school, which is how I met Carol. Though um, her daughter was at the same school, um, and I decided to take him out, and then I couldn't put him back in. And I, I still, you know, fight with this in my head. Should I send him back? Should I not? But I just can't. And so um, it's wanting him to learn, you know, all of these subjects that I now know are so important early as opposed to waiting, not just learning maths and science and, you know, all of that kind of thing. But, you know, why not learn maths through astrology and, you know, learn about, degrees and things like that through the stars as opposed to on a piece of paper doing something different. And then you learn other stuff, you know, as you go along. Yeah. So that's kind of where I guess that came from. So I've got to ask at this point, we're not encouraging people to take children out of school and, no, no. and, and, and doubt, uh, um, <laughs> you know, doubt putting them in t back into it. But obviously he's homeschooled at this point. Yeah, no, and that was just my personal you know yes, opinion yes. and my personal feeling of it yeah um, but 
but these are made for extra classes, which is why they're only an hour. You know, yes. some of them will be run after school. So yeah. kids that are in school can still attend these, can still learn. And it's just an extra thing. And actually, these classes will end up helping them in school as well. That's right. So, you know, yeah. if they can build their intuition from a yeah. class through Carol, then, you know, they go into a maths exam and they're going to do great. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's learning to be. So helping the kids in all areas of their life, whether they're homeschooled, not homeschooled and, you know, different ages. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before we go to Carol and uh, ask her about her inspiration, I want to say, you know, uh, I think that if someone had told me when I was, you know, when I was in school that you could do meditation to calm your mind if you were stressed out about an exam, yeah. I, I think it would have been so helpful for me, um, you know, just learning the breathing, the breathing techniques, all of that, how to be calm, how to get myself in a headspace where I go into the to an exam room and I sit there and I write my exams, but I, I do it and I come out feeling, oh, that was okay or, or panicking. You know, the, the, there's children that have actually, um, you know, entered their lives because they were so panicked about an exam they'd written or question they'd answered. It's I know that's a serious statement to make, but that is the seriousness of people not being able to know how to balance their energy out and being ignorant of, okay, how to live life. I mean, that's a big, big topic on its own. But um, I think this is necessary, um, not just because currently the times that we live in are so intense and, um, yeah. and also... Uh, how do we navigate this so that we don't feel like we're losing or that we're not we're not keeping abreast of everything or or, or living uh, above all those um, stress stressors that come to us? So I think that that is necessary. Um, so yeah, Carol, you, you learn what crystal what crystals do what, and you have hold a little crystal on you, or we've got someone that's talking about oils, and you know yes. you have a little oil and you sniff an oil and you kind of calm down, you know that kind of thing. So yes. it's all yeah, yeah. It's, nobody has t taught us that before now, and I'm really happy that something like this is starting here. Um, Carol, tell me about what inspired you, what gravitated you to this, um, to the Starseeds wisdom idea and, and uh, you know, the birthing of it. Yeah, um, I think my, my uh, personal opinion here, but it's kind of really out there. Um, I do really uh, appreciate the systems from the, our education, um, you know, with the value of bringing, you know, friendship together um, having the experience of a school life. Um, but then I realized there's a lot of stuff that's being taught there is misinformation. And we were kind of being conditioned and put in a box um, that we're not realizing a bigger picture of our connection with each other and with, with the world. And that's why, um, you know, um, we felt that, I felt that um, we need to have out of the boxes um classes to make people more you know expand in their um horizon and yes. in order to um go beyond this physicality you're not just only body mind um you are more than that and what is it so so this is kind of providing that bridge and the answer um for that but that it's just also a bridge because um, the kids have inner knowing inside them and a lot of them are wise old souls. And so it's just reminding them uh, or activating them in some way. And so uh, they would be able to align with their own purpose and, and do what they are supposed to do accomplish in on earth. Yes. And, and then later on, these classes will all change, evolve. Um, you know, um, across time, because uh, as more and more energy is coming through and we are upgraded and we remember, you know, about who we are and what we come here to do, we all will be um, smashing the competition and the old system and coming into love and cooperation in creating a, a community that, you know, a lot of us parents who are in the alternative side of things or thinking out of the boxes, um, would like to see that happens on Earth. We um, we kind of sort of um, really fed up with the 
um, suffering with the war, with, um, you know, the um, rigidity and the conditioning programming that is happening on in suppressing humanity. So it's sort of like now, uh, what can we do for our kids to to help them? So this is uh, uh, this is part of my passion or pa part of uh, the motivation of what is driving me do doing this. Um, although it's been, you know, a long time, like it's been like 10 years I'm trying to do this, but it's only now we are trying to manifest, um, manifest uh, something which is uh, in the collaboration um, to do something. So it's really an exciting time where we're starting to create, you know, a community in Auckland for us. Um, which we always actually look at, you know, overseas of what people are doing. They already started classes. They're already mm -hmm. like having a community, even a physical um, institute or you, I don't want to call it institute, but maybe a community house <laughs> or something um, that we share this knowledge um, with each other and empower each other that way in, yeah. instead of being caged in a box where we think, okay, um, you know, if, if you got good grades, you get good job and, and that's it. And you got married and then you have, you know, a house and a car and all that stuff. So, um, 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 you know, to come out from that limitation, um, sort of, this is like kind of empowering each other in a way. So that yes. is, um, yeah, my yeah. personal journey about that. <laughs> <laughs> I really love your passion for it. And I love that, um, you know, you had this, this vision like for the last 10 years and now you've met somebody that's going to that that's come into your world obviously not now but you've met Sophia now for a few years and the two of you are coming together and creating this and I and what's really great about it as well is that you're creating this in Auckland and we don't have this that we know of anybody else doing it it's probably the first one in New Zealand and um, we are working towards making sure that these things are available locally rather than our people having to go overseas to get that, right? What I also like about this, what I also like about this is that parents are taking responsibility for the education of their children. It's quite, um, uh, it's almost like the forefathers did that, right? The forefathers did that. You look at different cultures, the forefathers did that. In the Indian culture, because I'm of Indian descent, my ancestors come from India. Um, I recall this vaguely because my parents didn't do too much of what was the, what the forefathers did or what was traditional. But there is a saying, and I'll say it in in and this is Tamil. It's Mada Pada Guru Guru Devam, right? So I'll say it again: Mada Pada Guru Devam. And what what they believe is the belief in that is that. When a child is born, the first important person it sees is mother, mother. And then it's father, which is father. Guru is the teacher. Devam is God. And so what they're saying is that's the, that is the introduction. Those are the teachers. Those are the, because it is only through these people that you find God, you know, in terms of coming back into consciousness and finding God. And so that's sort of what you're doing is saying, well, I'm the teacher. You know, I'm the teacher. I am responsible for this soul. This soul that's come to this planet, I am now taking responsibility. And I think in what you're doing, you're finding yourself again. You're finding your responsibility, your um platform for what you came here and do you're taking back the authenticity of what a parent should be like because you are the teacher because it's true we are the teachers of our children right we teach them how to have manners and how to 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 have a shower every day or whatever but uh, for some reason the systems have said no but when it comes to education you need to leave it to somebody else as in your academia right but let's leave out the other things the spiritual things or the esoteric or whatever so i really love it because i feel like it's going back to and in my head i feel for us i feel there's a lot of atlantean energy in this yes the first time you told me about this carol i saw it it's almost like in atlantis somewhere we have these children that were being taught and they were in a in a chamber somewhere they were and not and in a good way i mean this i don't mean in weird ways but they were being <laughs> they were being 
Con um, they were being fashioned and taught and prepared for higher purpose. All right. I see this from my intuition. I see this from my guidance system. So I feel like that you are doing this, that star seeds wisdom has come and it's come to be here in this time and space. That is a very, very energetic Atlantean perspective on it. So thank you for bringing back the Atlanteans to themselves because there are lots of Atlanteans on the planet at the moment. And I don't know, but perhaps the two of you were doing it in Atlantis already <laughs> and you're just coming back to fulfill your purpose. Okay. That's, um, that's exactly right because um, I traveled back um, like to the Atlantean time and also the Egyptian time. That was a time when we were trained as a kid to actually move objects from our mind and also connect with each other telepathically. So yes. that was the time when we all learned in actually a temple. Yes. Um, yeah, and that's no grading, nothing, but all of um, the kids are, you know, semi-light semi form, semi-physical yeah. form. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Those children are coming back to you. I believe <laughs> they are coming back to you. So anybody who comes to this, they're not coming back. They're, they're coming back. The biological ones have come to you, but also whoever is going to join the program is going to be those children. So just think about what you're preparing them for in terms of awakening. That's pretty. That's pretty mind blowing. You know, that's my thought. I'm sorry. I was probably. I should have probably said this at the end of the podcast, but I just felt that I. I was hearing what you were saying and this is what I was coming to. These things happen because we are dealing with intuition, aren't we? We are dealing with things esoteric. So there you go. Yeah. Right. So what I want to say then is I love the inspiration for it. And uh, we know now from some of the intuitive stuff coming through, there's more than just that inspiration, right? You're doing what you came and uh, purposed to do here. Do you want to say something, Sophia? No, no, no. <laughs> um, I say a lot of things, I, you know, I see a lot of things. And you know what? I really, I want to say to you again, thank you so much for talking to me today because I feel this in my, I feel this in my core, what I just told you. And therefore I felt that intuitively that was the right time to say it and was appropriate. And I'm feeling a little bit tearful. So that makes me think that this really is appropriate. And you are helping me fulfill my purpose on the planet by giving me the opportunity to share my, what my intuition is saying to you. Okay. Um, Right. So when does it all begin and, and ha or has it all begun? Tell us about that. Um, so we are planning to start classes next term, so yes. next school term. Um, and at the end of this month, we have an in-person event in Auckland. Yes. Um, and you can find all of the details about that on our website. But you'll actually get to come and meet the tutors. So we've got seven amazing women coming along to talk. So um, you're going to find out about energy healing and Akashic records, human design, um, wellness through oils and um, women's health. Yeah, women's health. So, you know, we're not just woo-woo. We've got people coming to actually help, you know, the girls teenagers and how they can deal with going through their monthly cycles and we've got um someone also coming along about teaching how to grow kids to grow their own food you know like we know yes. that that's really important and it might get taught a little bit but this is all about biodynamics so about um you know enriching the soil not just growing your own food but you know enriching the soil back so that the earth can help us grow our own food yeah. um crystals and um and astrology as well so the kids come along with their parents or with one of their parent to find out um meet the tutors all the tutors are going to do a little talk about what you know what their power is and what they they are going to teach the kids in the courses um and just so we can all meet each other as well you know and and create that community too in auckland yeah, that's great. I, I saw this and, and I like that it's holistic. 
uh, we we have been talking a lot about the esoteric, but there's stuff about the the clearly from what you're saying, it's about clean living, eating well, well being, wellness, self talk, all of those things, and it's really good that they're starting young, um, because it's it's almost like we have to go back to basics in terms of the way we eat food, right? Because we're so uh, our society has become so junk food, uh, convenient food focused. Uh, so we kind of need to go back to that. And thank you, God, for allergies, because it's made us to stop thinking, to, to stop finding the quick and easy ways out in how we eat and what we put into our bodies. Everything is relative and relevant in 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 terms of this. When the more I think about it, yeah, yeah. Carol, you wanted to say something? Sorry, did I interrupt you? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, we are good. Okay, now I want to ask this question, and I know we didn't talk about it, but I want to. I want to ask this question: uh, What has the interest been like in terms of your launch? Because you've been talking about it for a while, Carol. You've been talking about it with me, maybe because we know each other now for about two years, um, and you know, you mentioned it not long after we met. So, what has the interest been in terms of the school starting, the registrations, all of that? Yeah, we've had a lot of interest from a lot of different people. Um, I've got, you know, we've got seven tutors that are on board now, but I've got like a whole list of people that actually want to come and teach kids things. That's um, right. So the only thing we need a little bit more of is the kids to teach now. So it's about, you know, kind of dropping those walls and going, right, yeah, I'm going to give my child the opportunity to do this. Yes. And um yeah, to jump on board. Okay, okay. So it's really good. And, and you know, it's good that we're talking uh, because, I, you know, this is going to go online uh, within the next 24 hours. And um, we, will, we will do whatever or I will do whatever I can in terms here of uh, putting the word out. When I put this out, I normally put your web address details or anything else you want me to put on there so that people are aware of of it um and you know to our audience i want to say have a good look at this because i think uh, you think about us and all our awakening processes we um had to find things ourselves it, there's nothing formal in the in the uh, academic system about this um you, you know you, are you going, going to be doing yoga as well, just by the by, out of interest? You're going to be doing yoga? Yeah, I mean, we've got a long, long list of ideas and classes that we'll okay. be doing. Yeah, obviously yoga is one of them. Yeah, and so it's four weeks. I guess you have an opportunity every month of, you know, every four weeks in a month to introduce something new and to see how the progress is with that new, that thing and, and think about whether you come back and readdress it. But because your numbers are going to increase, because your numbers will increase, you know, uh, you will you will obviously be revisiting some, some uh, course as well because uh, you might have new students coming in that hadn't done it before and then, you know. So, so Absolutely, you, yeah. So, so we'll so, have... We'll yeah. have like a level one and a level two. Okay. You know, so that people that have done level one that want to carry on and want to learn more, then there'll be another level for them to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to comment about uh, interest. And, um, uh, you know, I feel like it's important to say be easy about the interest of, uh, so far because you know that those that need this will come you know, the confidence of it, have the confidence that those that need this will come. This is not something that is not ordained to happen. It's really ordained to happen and it's happening in the right time. But, you, you know, it's not like the third dimensional world where we want to increase numbers so we can increase our profit. It's about saying we want those that need this, that it resonates with it, that will come to it and and then take that journey through. And even those that didn't know about it before might say, let me go find out what that's all about. Because you will have that element of interest in there. So I th that, that's, you know, that's what I think. Yeah. Yes. yes, and I would like to invite um, the audience to forward, um, you know, this video clip to your friends and to the people that you think might be interested that would help us. And so we also got a donation button on our website as well. So if you can't, you know, come to our event or if you can't, you know, uh, if you like to support another kid um, that's not able to pay for the 
class, um, please, um, you know, go to our website and, and click donate to support, um, you know, our mission that way. Oh, thank you, Carol. I love that. That is awesome. I'm so glad you said that because I didn't know about that. <laughs> you know, um, there's a lot of us out there that don't have children of that age group. So, hey, we're thinking we want to support us. By all means, please, you know, click the donate button on the, on the website. And so please remind me again uh, about the website. So it's starseedswisdom.com. Yeah, just easy, starseedswisdom.com. Yeah. Yeah. So before we go, tell me what I did. Tell me something that I didn't ask you and you wanted to share with our audience. Hmm. I think I've shared pretty much everything that good that we'd want to know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you mentioned the event at the end of the month, and you said uh, people can go online. Um, just just tell us, just for the benefit of the audience, uh, the location uh, at this point, and um, yeah. So it's at the Life Centre in Ponsonby. Yes. Okay, Ponsonby, yeah. not Newmarket. Sorry. So it's Ponsonby, everybody. Life Centre. You said Life Centre, right? The Life Centre, yeah. The Life Centre, Ponsonby. This is where it's happening. And the 30, 30th and the 31st of March, I yep. understand that is a, a strong intention for all of that to go. It, it's going to carry on like that. If there are any changes, Sophia and Carol will be in touch if you register your interest. So do, do people go on there and register interest or they just sign you on? Can, and they you can go on there and just buy a ticket. And okay. if you have any questions, then you can just email me. We can Great. put that email next to this video as well. If yes, you want. yes, yep. absolutely, absolutely. Any last words, ladies? I think that's it. Thank you so much for having us, and <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for spreading the word. Um, you're very welcome, and you're also welcome to return and tell us the progress of the school. Yeah, we'd you're love also that. welcome to use this platform or any kind of promo that you will be. Um, you know, we'll be making in the future. And if you just want to remind people about this, uh, you're welcome to use this platform. And, uh, you know, if, even for events that are taking place, I'm happy to announce it here. I'm also happy to have you back on and talk about things like I was saying. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Do, do stay on um, and we'll just say goodbye to everybody. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. And I hope that you have um, been inspired by the work of Sophia and Carol and that you will uh, look more into this for your children uh, or for family or grandchildren um, because it is a good way to go um, and give our children the opportunity to expand their knowledge and to expand their way of living in a holistic way um, in terms of education. So I'm um, going to sign off as I do and I'll catch you next time. So keep reaching for the stars and bye-bye everyone. Bye.